Today's video is going to be a reading journal update. So hello my fellow fantasy book lovers and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Kathy. I'm a god girl from Belgium who loves to read fantasy books. For today's video, I'm going to be quickly going through my reading journal, some of the updates that I'm doing and something that I'm thinking about, but I would first like your feedback on it because I'm not sure if I want to integrate the page, but that is for the end of the video. So of course, when we open my reading journal, we have my practical information and then we have the first spread, which is this bookshelf. And as you can see, I continued to fill it in. So all of the books are in here and I actually color coordinate them. And as you can maybe spot, the majority of the books in here are red, which means vampire themed, which is something that I absolutely love to read books by. My series trackers haven't actually changed because I haven't read more books. But then we have my other trackers and there's two things on the day that I'm recording it that I want to celebrate. The first one is especially here related is that I hit 900 subscribers on YouTube on the 16th of August. So we're super close to 1K, which was actually my goal for this year. And I just, I still can't believe it. It's wow. like. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my videos. I just love sharing my thoughts and opinions about books and I never expected it would take off like this, but I'm so happy that it did. And of course, the other tracker bridge is super important is the amount of books that I've read. And as you can see, I've been able to fill in another raw. We are at 40 right now. So I've read exactly 40 books at the moment of recording this video. I'm already reading book 41, of course, because I'm always doing that. But yeah, it's really fun to be like be able to see the progress. Um, one more raw and I'm going to be at my yearly goal. So we're going to see where I actually end up at. Now, I still need to fill in these pages. This is like my favorite books of the month. There were a few months where I didn't have that much luck with the books that I was reading. But now, during the month of August, I've actually finally read Slaying the Vampire Conqueror by Carissa Broadbent, which was like one of my favorite books of the year. I'm gonna say it. It is. It was amazing. And right now, I'm actually reading Amber Nichols' The Book of Azrael. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna be high up there too, because I'm a little bit over 100 pages and I'm loving it so far. So yeah, I think that I should really complete this pages somewhere soon. And then I quickly wanted to show you what a lazy month looks like to me design wise. So some months I've done really pretty designs. I've spent a lot of time like drawing something on the page um, or like designing things, um, combining like blocks and stickers and everything. But some months I just don't have the energy. So for the month of August, I just put up August and then a bunch of stickers, bookish stickers, of course, around it. And then for the actual month of August, because I still need to write down the blurbs about the books, I actually just have TBR books on my shelves to make place for my bed. And then here I'm writing down the books that I read and here I'm keeping a very small tracker for my YouTube stats. But this is the lazy version or the I don't have energy or time version of me keeping my reading journal. And that's perfectly fine. And to also give you an idea on the notes that I keep on the books that I read, they are not super in-depth or detailed. Why? Because I do have a very good memory, fortunately. So I will just write a little bit of blurb about the book that I've read, the things that for me stood out. So here I'm going to quickly read the one that I wrote about The Revenant Games by Margie Fustan. Something felt a little bit off with the female main character, Bly. She was too whiny, too self-pitying and unaware. The trials seemed too easy and short somehow. I did like the direction it took in the set second half, but the end was terrible. Some good moments, but definitely not my favorite read. And with these small blurbs, I know what I liked about the book and what I didn't like about it, but it is not my purpose to rewrite the synopsis of the book. Like, those already exist. I can find those on Goodreads very easily, as can you, but my opinion and insights of the books that I read is actually in my reading journal. So whenever I make a video for you, here is where I look at. So I have the book next to me or with me and I will remember what I have read, of course, because I've just finished it. And then I can also tell you like my opinion. Something I did at the beginning of the year is writing way longer opinions about books. 
But the thing is, I prefer making these videos and talking about books than writing it down. So the things that I write down are the elements that I really want to talk about in the video. Um, and sometimes that is the character, sometimes that is the magic system, sometimes I will write down more information about the types of vampires, for example, um, and that is why I keep my reading journal. So before I end this video, there is something that I want your opinion on. I have next to my series tracker an empty page, and I recently saw, I think on TikTok, but I could be mistaken, someone who had a graveyard, a DNF graveyard to the books that they did not finish and it was all these like gravestones where she would write the title of the book and then the reason why she dnf'd it and i think that's a brilliant idea and i think it could be something good to incorporate on this blank page but on the other hand i also don't really dnf books that often so i'm not sure if i should do it i am honestly not a person who quickly dnfs a book i always read the first hundred pages and then i usually stick to the book and finish it anyway so DNFs this year haven't actually happened for me yet. So my question to you is, should I already pencil out this page and start like prepping it for whenever I DNF a book? Or should I only do it whenever I actually DNF a book? Or do you think the page is just not necessary? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you have a reading journal as well, feel free to let me know in the comment down below what do you track in it? What are things that you find absolutely worth it to keep your physical reading journal for? For me, it's the act of writing and not just having everything in an app like Goodreads because, okay, I do enjoy Goodreads, don't get me wrong, but there's flaws with Goodreads as well. And I just like having something tangible. And that's the main reason why I also still buy physical books. I just like holding something, having something physical and yeah, just being able to write in a booklet like this. I will never write in my actually reading books, but I will write into like a reading journal like this one. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you'd like to be, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week and I would love to have you here for every single one of them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye.